Hey everyone, so I thought I'd try and show you how I do my blending. Um, you'll have to excuse, I did make a little mistake here, so it's a little different from the other two bits that I finished, but I thought this may be able to help those that don't know how to use blending, what pencils I use. I don't actually own Polychromos or Prismacolor. Um, right now all I own is Derwent Studio pencils and I might sometimes substitute with gel pens as you can see there's use of some gel pen in this image. Um, but yes, I'll tell you the brand I use is Derwent Studio pencils. And what I'm going to do is just show you a little patch of this image and how I blend my colours in together and hopefully it'll help you. Um, if you want me to, I'm happy to do pick an image with you all and do a bit of a, I guess, walk through or we can do the image together via video. But yeah, you'll also have to excuse my camera only videos for eight minutes so I've got my alarm set so I don't go over so it may be a bit under eight minutes but yes anyway um we'll start off what I'm going to start using is my dark violet and magenta and I'm just going to start in this little section here so I'm going to just start really I should have my pencils a bit sharper I sometimes tend to have them sharper for finer details, less sharp for other details. Um, and I'm going to start going around these little areas like this. So you can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to go over it with the magenta. Once I get to it, I normally like to listen to a bit of music in the background while I'm colouring. So you'll probably regularly hear music. I also plan on doing a galaxy um, video on how to do the galaxy background um, when I can borrow the GoPro from my cam friend, from my camera friend. So yeah. Anyway, what we're doing, we're just starting with filling in these areas. And I'm just going to have to work this in. What I'm probably going to do to fix my mistake is just go three three corners the same. This corner is just going to be that slightly bit different. So do what you can do. I'm just going over this with the magenta pencil right now. To bring out the purple colour a bit more. I'm not doing every section right now straight away just so in case I run out of time. So I'm hoping I can get it all done in time, but if we'll go back to it if come to. Now I'm just going in with my bright red, which is called Geranium Lake. And I'm just adding this in. This is sort of my main base shade. Also, why I didn't rub out my mistake and why I'm working it into the image is because I tend to find I have issues with sort of erasing things out and then getting the right text, pencil texture and stuff back on it. Maybe I need a better eraser, I'm not sure. Feel free to offer any suggestions and I can consider them down the track. Um, right now I've done the geranium lake, so I'm going in with the scarlet lake, which is like a deep sort of orange and I'm blending that completely over the geranium lake so completely over my red completely over my red and then once that's done I'm going to go in with the Naples yellow and start blending over all those colours. So both the Scarlet Lake and Geranium Lake have the Naples Yellow coloured over them. They do. And 
and there goes my alarm. So we've probably got about a minute left. And somehow I've set a different ringtone to my alarm. I don't know how that works, but yes. And then I'll just show you here. Then if my lines seem a little sharp, I just go in with my Scarlet Lake and just in light circular motions go over that to make it look a little more blended in. Thanks for listening and I hope this helps. I'll try and do more as time goes and let me know what you might want to see of what I've done and how I do it. And I'm happy to try and work on those things and show you all how I do them. Thanks. Bye.